hello and welcome to another video tutorial in this one i want to show you how uh, to create polygons out of point vertices so for example say you went out in the field to take some gps point coordinates of a parcel of land for instance and you are interested in um, actually getting a polygon representation of this uh, of the, of the data that you collected uh, it's pretty simple in QGIS but I, I I think it's not very obvious in terms of the steps that are involved and so I thought I would share this for anyone uh, who, who is interested and to demonstrate that I have a polygon right here which I generated from uh, a WKT um, file and uh, for this poly polygon, I have extracted the vertices so you can see the points on the edges of the polygon. So these are the vertices of this, of this polygon. And that's what I'm going to use to uh, demonstrate how to come back to this polygon when you have only points, right? So again, it could be yeah, that you have point coordinates for a field or a survey or whatever it is uh, and you want to get a polygon representation of that point and so that's, that's the starting point of this video so you have your points here and I think the key to this is to have some sort of um, an order uh, recorded in the attribute table of the of the point data which sort of shows which point will stick in first, followed by what, and so on. So, you know, assuming you, you want to create a polygon, the basic idea is to link the points to one another so that the first, the very first point gets linked to the second point and so on until the very last point gets closed or linked to the uh, to the very first point so you have a closed uh, uh, polygon if you want and so quickly let me in, uh, just look at the attribute table of the point data and you can see that for this one there is a vertex uh, index which shows which point comes after which and so on so they are numbered in that order and this is the sort of information you will need so assuming you have your point data uh, you probably have to add an attribute in the attribute table that shows the sort of sequence in the point data okay let's get to it uh, so first of all um i sort of this uh, i did this uh, just to try it out and so you can see that some files are already generated here but i want to go over them again and so let me just remove these files first and now we have our original polygon from which i generated a point vertices uh, which is sort of simulating an original point data from the field and so that's what we are going to work with and so the first step is to um, be able to connect these uh, points with lines so the point gets you know, connected by polylines which is a term for uh, line vector data so many lines connected uh, from one vertex to the other and so on and so for that there is a tool in the processing toolbox called uh, points to path this one if you launch that tool there is a brief description that tells you what the tool does and uh, what to expect in terms of the settings and so on so um just briefly this algorithm you know takes point data and connects its features creating a new line layer and so like i said the first step would be to connect the points to one another with lines so the input layer will be the point which is the vertices right here and in this one i'm interested in closing uh the points so i want the very last point to be connected to the very first point so i'll select that option uh, and then 
this is uh, where you key in uh, the information on order. So the order in which you, the points will be connected. And this is what I showed in the attribute table. And for that, I would choose the vertex index, which gives uh, information on which point was taken uh, first and which one follows and so on, or the, the, the part, the pattern to which you want your points to be connected. I'll choose that. Um, and yeah, I'll just leave everything else as is. Uh, for this one, I'll create a temporary file. And so, um, just for demonstration purposes, to so click run and quickly let me close this so you can, can see that the points are now connected with lines, right? So-called paths. So there's a path generated from this vertex, for instance, to the, to the other, and then from that to the next and so on until they, um, they are closed, right? So in that order until it, it closes the last point with the very first point now once you have this line uh there so let me do a bit of symbology here try to increase the thickness of the stroke to make it a bit more visible possibly choose a different color as well okay so this is our polyline then the next will be to basically convert this polyline to a polygon. And for that, there is lines to polygons and algorithm in QGIS as well. So if you search for it, you will find it in the processing toolbox. So if you launch that again, there's a brief description of what the algorithm does, uh, which basically uh, generates a polygon layer using the lines as the polygon rings, right? And so for that, you load in the line, the polyline um, data, which is part. And yeah, that's it. Just click on run. And a new polygon is created. And so from point data, we're able to create polylines, which connected each point to the next in the order. And then from the polylines, we came to the polygon. So there you have it. You've been able to successfully create a polygon representation of your area based on coordinates, just point coordinates, uh, representation of the edges of the area. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.